uh, I don't know why I'm using me. Uh, let's, let's use a better leader. Okay. Uh, Mari Di Garma. Okay. So now when you start, li- uh, when, when he's changing your life, he's inspiring you. Your life is better off after meeting him after a year, two years, three years. You see the impact. Okay. We don't say this stuff, but for example, do you think there are at least a few people in our leadership in on passive that wouldn't die for the business or they're closer to me than my biological brothers and sisters? That was not day one. That's after what you have done for them over and over and over and over and them realizing the true you, then it builds up. So now I'm not in the same level with Mr. Kamal like, you know, uh, like three years ago. We're at, at a high level in the leadership, the trust and the, you know, the uh, uh, faith and, you know, the uh, connectivity. So we would just like not question because you know the person have the best intention and you know what they do behind the scene, you know, when the camera is off. Uh, and that's how it, it, it takes time. Most people think, uh, I want to become a leader. Well, first of all, you've got to start with your own self. Got to start with yourself. Why? Got to become a, ber- a better version of you and, and equip yourself and cultivate the qualities of a leader within. Then you go to your, Close ones, the, 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 the narrow circle. And then you expand a growth. You know, it's, it's where you want to go, who you want to influence, who you, you want to inspire. Uh, leadership simply influence the, the stronger the influence you have on somebody, they would follow you. It's about following you because you're taking them from uh, point A to point Z or D, whatever they want to go. You help them take, so you haul them to where they want to go. It's not about you, where you want to reach or get that position. That's management. And in business, it's needed. It's necessary, okay? But not in leadership. Now, if your business is all about management and positions and all that, yeah, that's for good God be with you. But when it becomes more of a relationship and, 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 and leadership is the ultimate bond, now your partners. Now it's their business before your business. They take ownership in your vision because you keep casting that vision. They believe in it. Okay. My, oh, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. No. Man, this is amazing. I want to go with that out. And they trust that you have the capacity or the ability to take them there because being, you know, a good mouth, that's not enough or not even. So casting the vision is something, but being serious about it, being genuine about it, and taking the action and knowing how to get there and have the ability, or at least they have the trust in you that you will get there no matter what. Okay? They feel comfortable and they will, will follow you all the way to the end. What's something I did? I practiced that. I touched that. That was hardcore leadership, what I did. Basically... What I said earlier, I, don't, I think you were here, Niraj, because you came from the beginning. Okay. Uh, this has been going on. So I said, live with it. Our passive is here. This is where we're going to go. We're going to be the best company. This is, you have to give that assurance to your people and, and, and the comfort and the conviction that you know exactly where you're going. People don't follow a weak leader. They, they follow somebody very strong, very bold. Do it or die. That's my you know, ideology. That, yeah, people, I'm going to go with that. People, we, You're not going to follow somebody who says, ah, let's try. We'll see what happens. Yeah. I'll give it a month. If it doesn't work, I move on to the next one. I'm going to keep, I will die every day until I do it. You see? So that's one thing. So now you trust in that leader because no matter what, I know he's going to be doing this. I'm in good shape. I'm in good hand. I'm in good shape. Why? Because this guy is no way. You need to nuke him. You know what nuke mean? Like bomb him with a nuclear bomb and he wouldn't quit or give up on his vision. 
You want to follow a strong leader. People follow a strong leader. Got to be strong. Know where you're going. You have that. You have to have a vision. You don't want to be vague. You don't know where you're going to test or try. No, I know exactly. Chris Johnson asked, what's your favorite book uh, author? Uh, John Max, boom. Okay. What's your goal? I want to do this. Okay. So you're clear on your direction, on your ideology. Not like, oh, I never thought about that. Why would you? You, you know, people don't like wobbly, <laughs> squeaky. Leader, you got to be firm. You know exactly where you're going. And I'm going to go there. I know how to get there. And I will do it or die. I would follow that leader blindly. So you ha you have to have the conviction, the belief, and really be genuine about it. Don't fake it. I'm never going to tell you, oh, make it or make them feel or trick them. Uh, that's different. That's not what I'm telling you. I'm sharing with you. you. If you really believe in what you're doing, know exactly where you're at, and you have the capacity, the mental capacity, the leadership quality, and you do whatever it takes to get there, I would hop on your bus 